Welcome to the chapter Multiply and Divide. This slide presents the overview of the chapter. Learning Objectives By the end of this chapter, you will be able to do the multiplication and division of the bigger numbers. Estimate the value before calculating the exact value. Analyze the various multiplication and division methods in different situations. Introduction Let us consider a scenario about the chapter Multiply and Divide. A girl decided to distribute chocolates on her birthday in her class. So, she has planned to give three chocolates to each of her classmates. But, she doesn't know how many chocolates are required. So, she asked her friend to calculate how many are required. She replies within no time. Can you guess how she might have answered? Let us answer such type of questions in this chapter. Here, we are going to see about multiplication. Suppose, 254 visitors come every day to the exhibition. If each ticket costs 35 rupees, then what would be the total cost? Here, we apply the multiplication. As we are aware of the tables, we need to calculate these types of problem by using tables. Let us see the step-by-step -step procedure of solving problems by multiplication. Step 1. Multiply the number 254 with 5 which is in 1's place. We get the result as shown. Step 2. Now multiply the number 254 with 3 which is in 10's place and write the number below the 10's place of the previous number 1270. Since the number is in 10's place, now add the two numbers then we get the result as shown. Here we are going to see another way of multiplying the numbers. We can split the number according to their place value and can be multiplied by 30 and 5 individually as shown. Now, we have to add all the possible results that we have got here. That is 6000 plus 1500 plus 120 plus 1000 plus 250 plus 20. We get the same result as in the previous method. So, we can do the multiplication of the numbers in either of the ways. Let us do a simple activity to find the marks of the student. The table represents the students and their marks in an examination. Observe them and type the answer in the boxes provided besides them. Patterns of numbers. If there are 100 2 rupee coins, then what will be the total amount? The amount is rupees 200. If there are 200 rupee notes, then what will be the total amount? In this case, also the amount is the same. Hence, we can draw the conclusion that they are equal. Let us do a simple activity to find the marks of the students using patterns. Click on the buttons to indicate whether the following numbers are true or false.
Let us consider a scenario like shopping for sweets. Raju goes to a sweet shop to buy sweets on Diwali. He asks for Kaju Katli. The shopkeeper says there are two types of sizes. In that type, there are five different colors. So now totally, how many options are there for Raju's to select from them? Here Raju has two types of sizes in five different colors. So he has 10 sweets in total to select from. Let us see some example problems. Let us perform an activity to find the estimated values. The table shows the mark of a student in a unit 1 and unit 2 of class 5. Estimate the values according to the question given. Knowledge check. Attempt the following question to check your understanding. Let us learn division. Here we have three methods to solve the division problem. As we see that there is the same result in all the methods. That is, the remainder is same even if we follow any of those methods. We generally follow the third method to do a division. Here the question arises, why is the result same in all the methods? The procedure is same. Observe the question of the three methods. We get the number 27. Hence the result is also the same in all the three methods. Try some more division to check whether it gives the same result or not. Here we will do an activity to find the questions and the remainders. Drag and drop the questions and the remainders in their respective boxes. Let us see some example problems. Let us perform an activity on multiplication and division. Fill the boxes with the appropriate answers given in the table below.
let us solve some exercise problems. Knowledge check. Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Summary. Let us recap the highlights of this chapter. We have seen various multiplication and division methods and also different techniques to solve a problem. We have observed the real life scenarios and some activities based on the concept of multiply and divide. Practice zone. Try to solve the problems in the practice zone on your own. Follow up work. Can the remainder be more than the divisor? Discuss with your friends. Write a three digit number and try to find the exact divisible for the assumed numbers. Evaluation. Test your understanding of the chapter by taking the mock unit test. You have successfully completed the chapter Multiply and Divide.